Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how to's and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. You like this video and you leave any comments that you have for me down below. In this video, we are going to be swatching a couple of the new Fenty Icon Semi Matte Lipsticks that Fenty Beauty came out recently, I believe this past month. And I picked up just four shades and I just wanted to go over them. As we know, it is a refillable packaging and we're gonna look at that and see how that works and go over all the specs like we normally would. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. So looking at the website here on my laptop, they're described as high pigment, low maintenance lipsticks. They are captivating colors, velvety wear, and light as air. The finish is semi-matte. It's a creamy formula and it's a lineup of reds and neutrals curated by Rihanna herself. It's made to be refillable. The lipstick bullet shape inspired by Rihanna's Cupid's bow. That's cute. She has such an interesting Cupid's bow. It's packed with moisture plumping hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and E and also lip loving amino acids. So there are 10 shades in all in this collection. I picked up four. The four that I picked up are Posse Queen, Pose Queen, Pose Queen, <laughs> a scholar sister, girl master and ball and babe so i have one red and the others are going to be neutrals here and i also bought the bullet obviously so we can look at that and see how we do the filling process so this is the bullet right here beautiful packaging i expect no less from fenty beauty honestly they just do it right with the packages this case itself is 12 dollars separately there isn't a lipstick color in it when you purchase it and then each lipstick color is $20. So before I get into all my thoughts and everything, I thought that we would go ahead, fill the tube, and then do the swatches. So when you get this out of the box, there are two little pieces right here. The Fenty Beauty logo is right there, and I believe that's where you put the refill. And then you just have the container. And there are instructions on here. This is the box for the case, and then the instructions are right there. It just tells you how to do it, as well as being on the box for all of the refills too. Let's do Pose Queen. So straight out of the box, you have this and it has this little plastic cap to keep the lipstick fresh. And then on the side right here, it has the name of the shade. So it makes sense, right, to have it on this versus this because once you change it out, obviously it's not gonna be that shade anymore. This is the fill and this is the base. We're gonna go ahead and attach this here. There you go, a little click right there. And then I'm just going to put this in here. That's it. Oh, wait. <gasps> That's cool. Oh my God, I love that. So when you go to use the lipstick, it comes out. So this part right here will kind of click shut. And then when you want to open it up and use the lipstick, you just turn this guy at the bottom right here and then that pops up. <gasps> so beautiful. I actually just like found a lawn comb lipstick that has like a twist up where it pops the lipstick out just this week. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. And then whenever you're ready to replace it, you just, I guess, pull this out. Maybe. Yeah, just pull it out and then you're good to go. Okay, Pose Queen right here. Pose Queen is described as a neutral pink nude. So this is Pose Queen. It is more on the lighter side of neutrals. If you want something that's very, very nude and you are a medium complexion, this would be a really good option for you. It is very creamy, very high pigmented, and I like that it still looks moisturizing on my lips. My lips have been fairly dry this past week because I have had a slight cold, so my lips just have been really dry and this hasn't really accentuated anything this formulation is very similar in my opinion as the huda beauty one not as hydrating though because this is a semi matte so it is a little bit more matte but it still gives you that really nice like plump very healthy full lip look I really enjoy this. It is a bit of a cooler tone. I would definitely wear this with a lip liner if I wanted to give it a little bit of depth so it doesn't kind of just like fall flat on my complexion. But I like this, it's nice. This is the lightest one that I purchased. I believe there are lighter ones than this. Really good start, I love it. 
and they remove very, very easily off of the lips. It is a very traditional lipstick in that sense. So we're gonna move on to Scholar Sister. And I'm just gonna pop this into that base right there so it's just easier to apply. I don't necessarily need to in this case. Scholar Sista is a rose nude, so this one is definitely gonna be a bit more pinky. And I'll swatch this right here. There you go. Very, very different shades. I'm glad about that. I was a little worried that I was gonna pick shades too similar to each other, but a good difference right there. All right, here's Scholar Sista. So this one is coming off a little pinky purple on my lips and on my skin tone. I think it's beautiful if you're not into mobs, but you want something kind of in the same like family, but a little more pinky, then this would be a good shade for you. It won't like wash you out or anything. I do have a lot again of like dry flakiness right in the center. And when I applied this lipstick, it kind of just glided it over it almost like a bomb. So that was really nice. I was a little worried when I saw that. Very, very beautiful. I have kind of a suspicion that as this wears throughout the day, it's gonna dry down, but not to like, a liquid lipstick type of dry or not even like a matte lipstick type of dry it's just gonna kind of sink into the lips maybe lose a little bit of that shine and it'll look like a comfortable lipstick color so i don't know i like this formulation so far next i popped on ball and babe and this one is described as a mauve nude so i'm very excited for this one i'm gonna swatch this right here Ooh, beautiful so definitely not as rosy pink as Scholar Sister is, so this one is gonna be a little warmer, a little more on like the darker brown shade. Ugh, ugh, beautiful. I like the shape of the lipsticks. The overall width of it isn't too large, so I can very easily just swipe this onto my lips. Also, if you wanted to see that custom tip that was inspired by Rihanna's Cupid's Bow, it's right here. Very beautiful, almost like a diamond shape on top, like a wider diamond. All right, so this is Ballin Babe. I would say that this is gonna be a darker shade on anyone with fair to medium complexions. I think this would be a beautiful like neutral shade on deeper skin tones as well. I think that this is such a nice color for fall and when I'm like doing glam or something, I would gravitate towards a shade like this for sure. But I love it, it's so pretty, kind of like cinnamony to me. I feel like this just dabbed onto the lips would be such a pretty everyday color. And the last shade I have right here is Grill Master which is described as a maple red. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful red. So it's more on the rusty red side. However, when I'm looking at this on my complexion, it does have a slight tinge of orange into it, but not anything that would make it or consider it as a neon red, you know what I mean? So it does have a little bit of that orange, which I feel like is complementing my skin tone really well right now. She also has that blue red, which is the MVP in the collection. There's also a burgundy red, which is called board member and then this one which is that maple red so you do have a little bit of a variety with each one so you can kind of decide what type of red you want to go with i definitely think that this is the most suitable for me and one that i would most likely wear i love the finish i'm not a huge fan of very glossy red lipstick looks i kind of lean towards more of a matte red when i wear them and this one i feel like is just enough shine to wear it still kind of like lays in my taste of reds just enough matte as well i'm looking at it in the viewfinder just kind of like seeing how it looks on me and i do like it i feel like it kind of matches what i go for in my makeup so i i like the hydrated dewy look overall and i feel like this lipstick really complements that as well now i do feel like i can probably blot this off a little to get a little bit more matte and you can do that with all the rest of the shades too so let me just try that i'm gonna use my paper towel here and just blot off a little bit of that shine there you go and it's just as beautiful. And I feel like it would definitely um, fade into this as the day goes on. And then again, let me do a little hand swatch right here for you guys. And those are the four shades that I picked up.
So those were all the four shades that I purchased. So now I'm gonna kind of touch on my own thoughts about this. So the shades that I picked up, beautiful. I think that she did an amazing job with the nudes. I definitely think that every skin tone will be able to find a nude that they really, really love. The formulation of these are very nice and I think they categorize this really well as a semi-matte because it does have a bit of that gloss. I'm assuming it's coming from that vitamin C and E and the amino acids that are infused into the lipsticks. It sits really nicely in the middle there where it's still very comfortable. So as I've said before, my favorite types of lipsticks are going to be the more traditional ones in a bullet because I feel like they're not as drying and this feels really nice and hydrating on the lips. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I do have a bit of like dry lips right now. So I would recommend if you do struggle with dry lips to just exfoliate before using them. But honestly, not a huge deal because it feels very moisturizing on the lips, like it's actually conditioning them as well. I don't own a lipstick tube like this. I think it's just the coolest thing. I know it's like a small little difference, but the small things are what just really help brands stand out. And I think that this is beautiful. The packaging is just bold and it's very angular, like a lot of the Fenty Beauty packaging is. I like that it's refillable. So once you make that initial $32 investment, you're not going to have to buy the tube again unless you know you want to have multiples of it totally up to you and your choice you know what I mean but if you only want to have the one tube you can keep the other shades just covered with the clear cap so you don't necessarily have to buy a filler tube you know what I mean $20 for the lipsticks themselves it is kind of pricier for lipstick. I feel like we're going in that direction where it's 20 plus for lipsticks on the higher end of things. This could be wrong. It's just kind of like my assumption on it. But having the refillable packaging, I think, is geared more towards environmentally friendly, like eco-friendly packaging versus being more affordable for the consumer. So there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like it's kind of more in that realm. So in terms of longevity of the lipstick, whenever I was Wiping it off with a paper towel is very easy to take off so that kind of lends me to believe that it would wear like any traditional lipstick you know so just a couple of hours and then if you eat or drink or something then expect that time frame to decrease a bit and because of the formulation of this lipstick because they're moisturizing and they're comfortable uh, reapplying it is way more likely for me than if I were wearing a liquid lipstick and then having to reapply that like I feel like it would just look fresh again when you reapply it, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that. Because of the comfortability of this lipstick, I feel like reapplying it after eating or drinking or after it's faded is not going to be an issue for me. I feel like it's almost similar to... Um, like a tinted lip balm like in that feel but not as glossy in terms of shades i wouldn't put it past fenty beauty to come out with another like chunk of shades coming out because they tend to do that like they'll come out with really iconic shades and then they'll just expand on that because the formulations are really beautiful and then they give you even more shades you know to pick from but if you wanted to purchase these I bought mine from Sephora you can buy them from the stores you can buy them Sephora online and you can also buy it from FentyBeauty.com they have really good pictures as they always do in terms of swatches they do them on different shades of arms and they also have different models that have each shade on so it's really nice it's really easy to pick the shades that you want or you can go into stores and just kind of look at them that's kind of what I did um, I looked at the shades online, but I really decided when I got into the store. Would I recommend these lipsticks? Yeah, I think that for one, the packaging is just so fun and it's really nice to just like carry around. I don't know. I really like it. And the lipsticks themselves, I think they're beautiful. I think, you know, that they're on par with all of the Fenty Beauty um, products, really. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's everything. Did I cover everything? I hope so. If you guys liked this video or you found it helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.